Big news, AFTV are coming to Ghana. We are coming to Ghana in Africa between the 6th and 12th of February, and we're gonna be meeting Ghanaian Arsenal fans and doing a watch party around the West Ham versus Arsenal football game. You do not wanna miss this, so Ghana, get ready. We are coming, AFTV. Hi, welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily. The show that keeps you up to date. Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked when the January transfer moved to Arsenal. I know, over there in England right now, I've heard it's very, very cold. I saw the temperature, minus five. I'm like, wow, um, it's a beautiful day here today. Actually, yesterday in Qatar, was it's quite, oh, it's cold, the wrong word. It was very breezy yesterday. Um, and we was at a game last night and it was kind of a bit cold. Qatar were playing and they won their game. But today it's beautiful. And I do know that the Arsenal team, who were of course over in Dubai and they would have been having weather like this, because Dubai is not a million miles away from here. Um, they're back now in the UK, um, doing their training back at London Coney in the minus five um, temperatures to get ready for the big game at the weekend, which of course is Crystal Palace coming to the Emirates Stadium. Every fan is buzzing for the game. I can't wait to get back for that game. It's going to be huge and um, massive significance to it because we've seen over the past couple of weeks the rise of Man City. We've also had a little, you know, couple of games go our way like Aston Villa dropping points, Spurs dropping points. So really a chance for Arsenal to get themselves back on track. Now with the rumours, really interesting yesterday, Ivan Tony who, you know, we all thought definitely going to be at Brentford this month and probably still will. But it was really interesting. He did an interview on Sky Sports and some of his comments that he made were really interesting. Basically saying that, you know, if a big club comes in, he could go this January. I mean, let me see actually if I can find the, ex the exact um, quote from him. Um, Ivan Tony. When um, being asked about uh, the possible transfer, he says, it's obvious that I want to play for a top club. Everybody wants to play for a top club that is fighting for titles. Whether it's January, uh, whether if um, this is January is the right time um, for a club to come and pay the right type of money, who knows? So <laughs> he's not exactly, you know, last week he was sort of saying, you know, I owe Brentford and stuff like that. But he's not exactly, you know, conclusively wiping out the, the prospects of him going. Again, I don't think he will. There's some Brentford, they're in dire straits at the moment. They need Ivan Tony to come in and start scoring some goals to get them back up that table. Um, but it's interesting that he's not ruled it out, not ruled it out that he could go this January. I still feel that um, the money is going to be the barrier right now in January. We see our financial fair play is having such an impact on the transfer window. Look at the amount of money that's been spent so far. Very, very little. So um, still think that, you know, he will be at Brentford, but interested that it's not ruled out. What about Karim Benzema? This rumour is absolutely everywhere today, linking him with a move to either Arsenal or Manchester United. Those are the two clubs that keep getting mentioned. Two clubs that, you know, kind of could do with a striker. Um, but we know that he seems to be having some little issues at Al Etihad. Um, and the rumours are is that Al Etihad would be willing, according to several outlets today, would be willing to sell him this month or to loan him this month, even possibly. Now, as I said, Arsenal said to be linked, Manchester United linked, Chelsea being heavily linked, teams that need a striker basically being linked. Um, could Arsenal move for Karim Benzema seven years after they should really have got him? and they didn't get him and he ended up going to Real Madrid. Again, I'm looking at this one as unlikely, but what's the, what's the amount of money that you'd have to pay to cover the loan? Would there be a loan fee? I mean, a deal like this would be so complicated. And, and then, you know, a team like Arsenal, and probably any other team, are only going to want to take him very, very short term because, you know, he's 36 now. So, Again, I see it as unlikely, but again, it is absolutely everywhere today, these rumours linking Karen Benzema with a move to the Arsenal. Now, another player being linked um, heavily with a move to Arsenal today is Xavi Simons of RB Leipzig. Um, 
Again, he's been having another excellent season. Remember, he was excellent last year when he was at PSV. Um, and it was really, really interesting because Arsenal at that time, you know, would have liked to, you know, possibly bought him into the Emirates. You know what I mean? They were very, very big fans of him. Still only 20, remember. A young player, can play on that right wing and would have been perfect competition for Bukayo Saka. But what happened was um, he was actually a PSG player. They had this deal where he went to PSV where they could buy him back for, I can't remember the exact sum, but it was a really, really small amount of money, which they did. PSG bought him back from PSV, don't get confused, right? And then loaned him again to RB Leipzig and he's gone to RB Leipzig and he's been excellent again. Really is a top quality player. I remember when he played against Arsenal, he is very, very good. Now the rumours are today that Arsenal want him again now. It's probably more going to be a summer move again. It won't happen in January. It's very important to RB Leipzig right now. But Arsenal very, very interested in him for the summer. Um, prices varying from around about 60 to 70 million pounds. But, you know, PSG may be willing to do that. They may be willing to do that. As I said, this FFP thing now is starting to hit every club. It's starting to be as if... Um, what should have happened in the first place with these rules is making clubs, you know, be more sensible with their spending and realising that if they're going to bring somebody big in, they may have to sell somebody. As I said, he's been on loan um, to RB Leipzig. He's been doing really, really well. So could Arsenal make a move for him this summer? And I, I really love to think, um, know what you guys think of it because he would offer great competition to somebody like a Bakaya Saka and he's a really top um, attacking player. And the other one to talk about is another rumour that I've been speaking about since the start of the transfer window. Again, it's bubbling up again today. It's Matthias De Ligt of Bayern Munich. Again, another player who was a top, top, top prospect. Went from big money um, from Ajax to Bayern Munich, but it's just not really working out for him. He's, he's not playing regularly. Um, you know, they've brought in uh, more defenders in at Bayern. And it definitely looks like he's on his way out. Now, as I said, they bought him in for big money and they're going to want big money for him. Arsenal said to be very, very interested in Matthias De Ligt. Um, there's also uh, Sky Sports Germany reporting that um, Eric Ten Hag would like to bring De Ligt to Manchester United. Of course, we know De Ligt did play under Ten Hag at Ajax. But judging by some of the other players that played under Ten Hag at Ajax and what's happened to them since they've got to join him, he may not want to be up for that. But Matthias De Ligt would be a great signing for Arsenal. But again, even though he's playing very little for um, Bayern Munich at the moment, I don't see this one happening in January unless some sort of loan with an option could be agreed. You never know. Any, any sort of deal this month, I think uh, Arsenal going to have to get either creative with it or it might have to be some sort of loan deal but we have seen in the past they have got creative we can only just look at the Raya deal where they you know they agreed to pay the sum at the end of the season so those are the rumors for today um don't forget to check out all of our content here on AFTV of course the big game coming up Arsenal taking on Crystal Palace at the Emirates we've got previews coming out so make sure you check that out um and also check out uh, Durin Timber, who um, we managed to catch up with yesterday here on AFTV as well. So make sure you check that out. But um, yeah, looking forward to that game at the weekend. Arsenal versus Crystal Palace. It is huge.